So what about them Warriors then? Yesterday's win over Manly marked the official end of only the most unusual season ever. Five months after leaving New Zealand to relocate in Oz, the team returns with heads held high. The club deserving an A-plus for a magnificent off-field effort that's earned fulsome praise from everyone involved in the game. But what about the on-field side? Because ultimately, that's what really counts. Eight wins in 20 games sounds like a typical Warriors season. Some promise, much disappointment, and never quite consistent enough to make the playoffs. On field, I'd give the campaign a C plus and no more than that. And yes, I realise that there are going to be many fans out there that think that's a little on the low side, but when your aim is top eight and you finish 10th of 16 teams, I can't see how it could possibly be graded any higher. And again, when assessing the on-field side of the season, I think you've got to remove all the peripheral goings on or else it simply sounds like more excuse making. Dumping the coach after six months, that didn't help. Losing five players back to New Zealand because of homesickness, that didn't help. Being forcibly domiciled in a bubble in Oz, well that wasn't ideal either. But that's just what had to be dealt with and quite conceivably could be more of the same next year too. I'm over excuses, I just want results. Reality is the squad was nowhere near strong enough to be a top eight side, let alone one of the elite teams capable of winning the comp and no amount of talk about sacrifices made and selfless contributions are going to change that. Neither should the retirement of Adam Blair dilute the truth that he's been largely disappointing for three years. A fantastic career, sure, but to say the Warriors saw the best of him is simply not true. Off-field, the club has been flawless. Not a hint of controversy, not one rogue headline, not a single COVID case to report upon. The campaign accomplished many great things, most bigger than the sport itself. But eight wins from 20 games and 10th out of 16, well, that tells the actual tale. This is what was actually achieved, which is why I maintain the on-field side deserves a C plus and why that mark is entirely fair. As for next season, repeat after me. You know the drill. It is our year.